Video number 221, division using remainders, also known as long division. So, if we were to take these four examples and divide, we may get remainders, we might not. We're going to go through all four of them here. Before we do that, let's talk about the basics of division one time here real quick. Let's say you have 12 divided by 3. Obviously, the answer is 4 because 3 times 4 is 12. However, if we had 14 divided by 3, well, we know that we can only put a whole three sets of three, or at least sets that contain three objects, can only go into 14 four times, and you'll have one more set that has two objects in it. It doesn't quite have a whole three objects, so that's why we would say this is four and two thirds because we're trying to have each set that has three pieces in order to consider it a full set. 12 divided by 3 has four full sets of three. 14 has four full sets of three, but two more thirds of the way towards another full set. This is the theory behind using a mixed number. By the way, this means four plus two-thirds for those of us that have been uh, using calculators and have been struggling with some of the notation that four and two-thirds means four plus two-thirds. Let's continue here with our four examples for video number two, 221. We have division using remainders. Let's take a look. 13 that goes into 458. We have 13 into 13 does not go into 4, but 13 goes into 45 three times. So we put the 3 above the 5 in the 45. 3 times 13 is 39. We would then subtract 45 minus 39 or take 39 from 45. Okay, We end up with 6. We then bring the 8 down because 8 would almost act a little bit as a remainder because what we did was we essentially did 13 into 450. So 8 would be like a remainder in that situation. Now we take 13 into 68, we get 5. 5 times 13 is 65. We subtract and we get a remainder of 3. Now there are no more numbers to bring down, therefore we would say 3 is the remainder, similar to our 4, four and 2 thirds here, because we had 2 extra, because if we did 3 into 14, you'll get 4. There's your 12, subtract, you get your 2. So then we would say that this is 35 remainder 3, or 35 and 3 thirteenths as you would go clockwise okay next one 931,005 divided by 7 well this one's a little bit easier 7 does go into 9 one time so we'll put a 1 here multiply down we get 7 subtract we get 2 then bring down the 3 7 goes into 23 obviously 3 times to get us what 21 then we're going to subtract to get a 2. So what you're going to do is divide in, multiply down, subtract, bring down the number, divide in, multiply down, subtract, bring down this next one right here. So we brought down the 3, bring down the 1. 7 goes into 21, obviously 3 times, 3 times 21, excuse me, 3 times 7 is 21, subtract the 21s, you get 0. Bring down the 0. Now don't get stuck here. How many times does 7 go into 0? Bam! 0 times. So we're going to put a 0 here. 0 times 7 is 0, then we're going to subtract the zeros, then we're going to bring, now this 0 was brought down here, we're going to bring this 0 down here, and we're going to get uh, 7 going into 0, 0 more times, 0 times 7 is 0, subtract we get a 0, bring down the 5, how many times does 7 go into 5? 0 times actually, to get a 0 remainder 5, okay, so we end up with 133,000 and five sevenths. Okay. Alrighty then, next one. We have 409 divided by 53. Now the reason I put this example in the video is because we would take a look at now 53 obviously does not go into 4. 53 does not go into 40, but 53 does go into 409. So when we do decide, now this is going to be basically a guess and check strategy. <coughs> We're going to go ahead and try to divide 53 into 409. We're going to take a guess. Sometimes it's a very educated guess. 
we, you can round this down to 50, round this maybe down to 400. Now if you did 50 into 400, I'm gonna, I wrote this in pencil for a reason. I'm gonna put down eight for now, but the answer is not gonna be eight because 50 would go into 400 exactly eight times. 53 is actually gonna be less than that. We can check with a pencil. Eight times three is 24, carry the two. Uh, eight times five is 40, so we get 424. So obviously, eight is too many 53s. Eight is too many 53s to get underneath 409. So we're gonna go down one. We'll take it down to a seven, and that should work. So we got a seven times three is 21. Oop, put a one here, excuse me. 21, carry the two, 35, so therefore 37. Now we can subtract to get our remainder, and we're in good shape. So the nine minus one is obviously eight. Now we could, you know, put a one here and borrow from the four to make this a three. I prefer to call this 40 minus 37, which is three, so therefore 38. Therefore we have seven and 38 50 thirds. So if we had, you know, uh, 15 more pieces, we would then get an entire number above that, which would have been um, eight. All right. Next one, 265 divided by 53. 53 goes into 265. Let's see how many times. Well, let's round this maybe down to 50, maybe round this down to 250. Let's try five. Now, obviously, 53 does not go into 26, so we're going to put it all the way into 265. Let's try five, see what happens. Five times three is 15, there you go. Five times five is 25 plus to one. Oh, 26, actually there's a zero remainder. So therefore, we can say that 265 divided by 50, 53 equals exactly, uh, exactly five. This is the symbol uh, therefore, for those of you guys that are checking out the uh, basic math here. So we actually end up with a zero remainder. We wouldn't put five and zero 50 thirds for the same reason that we didn't put down that 12 divided by three equals four and zero thirds. We didn't do that there either, just equals exactly four. So same thing here, we're just gonna leave the solution as five. So sometimes you will not get a remainder and that's totally fine, all right? So that is the long division and we'll see you in the next one.